Hey guys, welcome back to Droid Crunch. I'm Lokesh Kapoor, and in this video, we are going to see how we can save the form fields. These form fields will be submitted by the user, and they will be saved directly in the post meta in any post type. So there are many use cases of it. For example, you can accept new post entries in any post type. New user entries you can accept. There are some new terms that you can enter from the users and option entries via the limited forms. You can also allow them to update the existing entries on the current page or use a specific ID. So let's quickly get in and see how we can use this option in Elementor Pro forms as a new action using dynamic U plugin. So let's get started. So as here I have created a page and have imported or dragged the form widget, this one over here and to save the form fields interpose or into your post type data what you need to do is just go over here actions after submit and add this action save make sure the dynamic plugin is installed and activated to perform this action once you add this action you will be able to see this option over here now you have multiple options to save fields as whereas you can save the post data user data terms data or option data for example if i want to update the post or i want to create new post using the uh, data submitted by the user into the form i will just make sure that uh, the field is aligned or is matched to uh, to a custom field in my post for example uh, let us see uh, one by one what these options are okay <coughs> so you better understand how it works we need to first ignore the empty fields so uh, the data will not be saved if the value is empty you know it will you know uh, make sure that db size is optimized pretty well you can save files as media if you enable this option it will save its ID instead of the URL and if you are using uh, the file uh, field in your form this can help you you can save multiple as the array where you can save file select checkboxes submitted values as array instead of a comma to separate values string this works for that you can redirect to option if you want to go to a new object page after saving it okay you can use anonymous data uh, to not save user info for the privacy like ip refer and current id anything uh, like that will not be saved in the database you can update the existing data for example you want to update an existing post using this data submitted by the user it can be a current post or any specific post you can use the id of the post to do that if it is a current post you don't need to use it okay it will automatically be used for the current one now uh, you have to match the form fields to save as the meta uh, this will be separated by the commas this is the field id and it should be identical to the field name in your meta for example you want to save a field of uh, phone okay here you name message or maybe email okay so you should have uh, these fields in your post meta so let me show you how you can do that just go over here go to your ASL settings here I will add a new field group I will limit post fields and here I will add a text field of name where its field name is name i add a new field over here i can name it message and it will be type of text area and then i will add a new field i will limit phone and keep it as a number now i have three fields as you can see of uh, type text text area and number respectively and here you can see that the name of the fields are identical to the names over here uh, 
name message email name message and phone over here so we can use email phone instead of email okay so uh, now the data would be saved in these fields if we set this to as the post okay now if we change it save it and if we come over here and go to a post and edit a post now you can see these fields over here name message and phone now this is the post id i will just uh, go over here update the existing data id i will paste here now this is the post title uh, through which it, it would be saved form entry by this name you can use any of these fields uh, by name using you can say form email okay post content you can uh, save as post content message you can save as a post content or you can use an another field for the post content as well where you can use visible editor as well and this is how you can save the data let me show you uh, on the front end if it works perfectly for us so let me name it lokesh test at the rate of test dot com message anything like that submission field because of server error submission field because of error email your submission field because of a server error okay maybe i have multiple uh, actions that's why it failed i will just remove email save and just keep it to save at the moment and uh, here you can still see that was save action worked only the email actions uh, had an error but this one worked where you have this title over here and here you have this message as post content and all these submitteds are well raised based on how we submitted the form we didn't have a phone field so what we can do we can add a phone field or alternatively we can uh, convert this email field into a phone field so let's go here in the email keep it as a type number and here i will say this phone and here the placeholder phone in the advanced section make sure you change it to the same value that you have input in your save action so now the phone field will also be updated if i submit the form for say prashant okay phone number 8888888 message this post is well raised with content okay now if i send it it is submitted successfully because i had removed the other actions including collect submission and email now if i go to my post let's see all the posts first and here you can see form entry by prashant using null because we removed the email field and we had used the email form email in our post title so that's why it is showing null we should have deleted this now but if you see the post content is well raised pretty well and we now also have this phone number field filled up or set up so this is how you can allow your visitors to update the data or content in your existing posts and this works pretty well and it's very easy to set up and use not only for the posts you can also update uh, the content in your terms or user data as well you can create a profile page and allow visitors to update their uh, update their user meta using this same feature all you have to do is customize a few settings and everything should work perfectly fine for you and also you can update the terms and update the option data the options are prior pretty similar so if you have any questions you can always reach me out and we'll try my best to uh, respond to you as quickly as possible for the uh, moment 
प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल फॉर वॉचिंग मोर वीडियोज लाइक दिस इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन लेट मी नो एंड थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग टिल एंड इफ यू हैव वॉच एंड या स्टे सब्सक्राइब कीप वॉचिंग थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग